everyone. I haven't put any project videos out in a very long time because I haven't been creative lately. I've been dating too much. <laughs> but um, I want to show you a few things I made. I made these for someone. I'm not going to say who they are, who it's for. Um, they're my handmade ribbon roses, which are still for sale. And that's the olive green and the antique white and the large and the mini. So I'll be shipping these out to someone soon along with the roses. Here's a box from the treasure nest. And um, I used some Prima trim. You can see it better here. I used it here on this all the way around the outside. And I used it on the top, and I put some I Am Roses, mini roses, all the way around. And I used um, antique, or was it tattered pink? Or I think it was tattered pink and um, red velvet on the roses. I don't know how well you can see them. But on the base, well, to show you this, it's one of the photo frames that sits up like that, and it's got a drawer. And I colored it with golden paint, the um, burnt umber, and then I dry brushed some white. I used my Tim Holtz sander to sand after it was dry and to give it more of a weathered look, and I used some gold rub and buff. So that's that, and I used a Prima butterfly, and that is, I love these butterflies. They are called Butterflies for Fala. I'm probably torturing the name, but I love them. So I did that for somebody. I made a card for my mom. I used Prima Trim around the outside. Graphic 45 stamped image that I stamped with my Graphic 45 stamp. And I ended up winning a whole set of them from Graphic 45, which was nice. Um, I got Little Susan Winglet um, paper collection butterflies that I cut out and put on here and I have them dimensional and a Fisker's um, circle punch and I used um, French script stamp in the background and I put best friends because my mom is my best friend so that's the card and I just put it on craft card stock I didn't write anything inside yet and I also made this for my mom this is one of those Michaels little boxes from the dollar bin and I used um, old lace to color the um, I Am Roses roses. I used old lace first, and then I used um, the pink. I think it's um, vintage pink. I can't remember. And then I used red velvet around the outside of the roses. I don't know if you can see the dimension and the color. I used a Prima Leaf Lindy Stamp Gang Charm. I used skeleton leaves from um, I Am Roses. I used a Glimmer Chip that I colored with all kinds of stuff. Um, I think this is Webster's Pages ribbon. I'm not sure. And then the Susan Winglet um, paper by Kay and Company. I punched out with three-quarter inch rows. Thank you, Arlene, for giving me the tip on that one of your videos. And I used glossy accents just like Arlene did on hers. And I used Life's Journey little um, ephemera on the sides but I was disappointed because I had to put the same elastic on oh I used a little bling on there prima bling for the trail of the butterfly but I was disappointed because I had to use the same elastic that the box came with I have no elastic ribbon but I used my Lindy Stamp Gang Gossamer Gold for that shimmer and the base of the box is paint with burnt umber from Golden Paint that's it for right now and um oh this is a paper is from the curio collection by basic gray which is a wonderful paper collection i love it but that's it for now and remember my roses are still for sale i have an etsy store odonata creations and um either that or you can contact me on youtube send me an email if you'd like to purchase some roses the large roses are three dollars a piece the mini roses are $1.50 a piece, and the small roses, which I only have in pink and I believe gray, are $2 a piece. So thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.